Right, gardening video time. Garden's been doing really well. We've been doing a lot of uh, composting. We've got two heaps that are sort of most of the way through the cycle. Just need to rest now for a bit, a couple of months, and then we can use them on the garden. And we're just about to harvest some big pumpkins. Clean out, we've just cleaned out some courgette plants that are sort of finished their time. Uh, Dot's just gonna harvest us some pumpkins. Look at them. Right. Right place to the nub. Oh, nice. Harvest them all and we'll store them. Look at the size of that. <laughs> oh my god, what are we going to do with that? <laughs> oh dear. I've never even cooked a pumpkin before. Get them a little bit higher up than that, or lower down. Do you, know? you don't want to take the leaves with it. That's it. <laughs> so there's a pumpkin harvest. Probably 20 kilos of pumpkin there. I would have thought. How much do they weigh? Oh yeah. yeah I'd say 15, 20 kilos there, just of the pumpkin alone. We've also got these little dwarf pumpkins as well. Just the mature ones, I think. I didn't know they were dwarf pumpkins. Get it close to the thing, otherwise you'll chop the whole stem off. I suppose we'll just roast them, will we? Mm. <laughs> Look at them. I cannot believe we grew those, this little garden, in our first year. I'm struggling to even hold them up. Look good though, don't they? They do. Can you see, can you see them in there? I'm going to dry these out because these should store. Yeah, so we uh, harvest the ones that are good and then we we'll dry them out and they should store for quite a while. Real good ones here. Yeah, the skin's going hard. Good. Very nice. Okay, that's most of them harvested. There's about four more on there that are still yet to finish. That one's not ready, it's still green. It's sort of yellowy green. Um, but this is what I've got. It's not a great harvest, but I'm happy with it. It's the first time I've ever grown any. See, there's some nice, good sized ones. Um, but for the area that they took up, you know, I was hoping for a bit more than that. But uh, apparently it's not been a good year for them because the weather's been so on and off. Uh, really dry, really wet, really dry, really wet like that all year. So but yeah, not bad. So yeah, I'm going to rinse these off and then we'll store them. And more. I uh, 
can't find my scales at the minute, so I'm have to estimate the weights of them. But I've been keeping track of the weights of everything. Um, so these, that's a, that's a kilo, that is. That's a kilo. All of those are about a kilo. Um, and then these smaller ones probably make up for about a kilo and a half between them. So that's what I'm going with until I find my scales again. I might weigh them once I find them. Look where they've gone. But uh, yeah, once we've harvested everything for an entire year, we go through what weights we've uh, managed to, to get. That's not bad, is it, from the old uh, squash bed? Obviously we had all the uh, courgettes and summer squash and everything as well. Yeah, not bad at all. Good few meals there anyway. And next year we'll uh, grow twice as many. We've been getting quite a few raspberries. See they're still coming. Some of them riper than others, but we've had loads. We've put quite a few in the freezer. These aren't a, uh, a cultivated type of raspberry. These are wild raspberries, native wild raspberries. That I took uh, one little clump out of Craig's woodland. Craig does the foraging courses. I took one little clump, just a couple of little, one little root ball, and it's turned into this wild raspberries. They're great, delicious. Hey chickens. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Two quid a packet in Tesco's and we're feeding some <laughs> chickens. Yeah. Lucky chickens, aren't you? Lucky chickens. Come on, let's do some harvesting dinner. Out the way chickens, out the way, come on. Right, roast veg is it for dinner? Right, let's have some parsnips then. I don't think we really sowed these deep enough, so I don't think they're all that, that good, but we'll see. I think they're a bit stumpy. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't have enough soil, but there's still good food there. Yeah. Stumpy. They look like they're going to be big, but they're not. Oh, look at that one. That's ridiculous. <laughs> oh. <laughs> don't oh, we don't need much more than that, will we? There's a couple in the fridge as well. Oh, is there? Yeah. Okay, well, that'll do us then for that. Right, pick some beetroot. These are multi sown, so they're in clumps. So. You do as you go around. They don't grow that big like that, but initially, so you go around and pick the biggest one of the clump, and then the others fatten up later. It's late in the year, so these are growing pretty slow, but they do still grow. Well yeah, that's going to be it. Going to make, go make another dinner from the garden, sons and wise. I mean, we've still got loads of food here. There's a good 20 kilos of food of parsnips in there. Another 20 or 30 in the other bed. We've got leeks, we got swede, we got squash, we got pumpkin. We got loads of stuff still in here. Um, so we've got plenty to be eating still for another couple of months, I reckon. Um, but then we'll get started again in the spring and we'll have the greenhouse and we have a load of tomatoes. We got two and a half kilos of tomatoes, didn't we? <laughs> we made a load of, uh, they're mostly green, so we made a green tomato chutney out of them. Yeah, and there's a little garden update for you. We're going to make a roast veg for dinner. All right, that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Stick them in the basket.
just had a good idea we'll have some pumpkins with it as well little baby dwarf pumpkins <laughs> 